In today's video, I'm gonna be updating you on a massive journey that I embarked on roughly one year ago on this channel. Last year, around 365 days ago, I uploaded my first video when I first got started on Take A Lot dropshipping. Now, I reside in South Africa, and for those of you that are aware, Take A Lot is essentially the Amazon ripoff here in South Africa. It has a very similar business model to Amazon FBA. So essentially, what I've been doing is finding, sourcing, and developing products to go and list on takealot.com. When somebody sees my product on takealot.com they order the product and it becomes my duty to fulfill that order by getting the product from the wholesaler manufacturer and delivering it to the takealot DC when they fulfill the order by sending it to the customer now this is an incredibly lucrative business model and I actually started this business model a year ago and obviously I have transgressed into turning it into something that has done a hundred orders a week or a hundred orders a month into something that has filled my bedroom filled the storage department on the property that we reside in and I have now literally filled this garage with orders for this one. this video special and the reason behind why I'm creating this video today is this week marks the first week in my entire take a lot drop shipping journey where I've done over a hundred thousand rand in turnover within one week purely from selling on take a lot I've also had an amazing week with drop shipping these products as well as doing e-commerce and I've got future videos where I'm gonna be updating you on that but in today's video I really just wanted to share with you guys my story on take a lot selling give you guys a little bit behind the scenes of what actually goes into me selling on take a lot I also have another video coming up this week where I actually showcase how far I've taken this business and some of the equipment we are now getting to actually boost this business. I'm now at a point in my take a lot selling journey where I found my niche and found my particular strategy that works insanely well. Like I said, this is the first week that I did over a hundred thousand rand in turnover within one week. This wouldn't be possible without school holidays giving me the time to actually focus on this business and really grow and scale the growth of this business. So I thought, why not do a YouTube video and show you guys exactly what I've been doing to get to these results. A hundred thousand rand in turnover is not a small business and you will see I will take you through the stock behind me and the systems and processes that are actually required when selling on take a lot and just give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes run through the numbers show you how much profit I've been able to make just this week alone and also at the end of the video I'll be speaking about how you guys can actually get started with this yourselves if you do reside in South Africa honestly in my opinion I believe anyone and everyone can literally replicate this business it's such a lucrative business opportunity as we all know drop shipping is a business that does not require you to have the products on hand I I don't keep these products on me. I don't have to fork out the starting capital to get these products. These products have already been ordered and paid for by customers. My job is simply to fulfill them and find products that sell. So in this video, I'll be giving you guys my story on how I actually got to this level within my drop shipping and take a lot selling career. I think I've done fairly well and I think I have a lot of experience to actually speak about this topic. And then after that, I'm gonna be giving you guys a breakdown on exactly how I do this. What are the systems in place that I have to go ahead and do this? And then at the end of the video, I'll be dropping some exciting news sharing with you guys how you can actually get started with take a lot selling and start your own take a lot selling business which I think is a really awesome and lucrative opportunity for a lot of South Africans in there but enough about that if you guys enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel this channel is all about entrepreneurship how to make money online and if you are from South Africa just support your boy and subscribe Exactly one year ago, I got started with my e-commerce dropshipping and YouTube journey in this exact bedroom. Around one year ago to this date, I posted my first video speaking about my experience and my journey after five months of take a lot selling and dropshipping here in South Africa. Now, five months prior to that video, I got started and embarked on my journey of selling items online. Whether they were goods that I did not have on hand or products that I tried to reach out to manufacturers, that was when I started my e-commerce journey. It's been around a year since I first uploaded that first video to this YouTube channel. And this week I have done my first week with over 100,000 Rand in sales within one week. And that's only of take a lot selling.
There's a famous Japanese proverb saying that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and the second best time is now. I finished matric next year and I plan to take my e-commerce fulfillment business, my e-commerce business on Take A Lot, as well as a few of my dropshipping stores full time. And that's only been possible because of the hard work that I put in over the past year. But today I wanna to reflect and go through the whole story and share it with you guys and bring you along for the journey. Like I said, everything started in this room and around two months ago, I was a manager for a very big Take A Lot store. Now my success really started with the management of a Take A Lot store. I'm not gonna disclose the names of the stores, but while managing the store, it really changed my perception on how products were sold online. I was basing all of my dropshipping, e-commerce and Take A Lot selling stores under the understanding that these products had to be super catchy, super unique or have a unique selling point that could help or aid the user. Um, one of the products we're actually looking at, the hand and eye for our niche store, is a pet niche store. And I've actually just picked up this bed now, and I think it's actually really high quality, and it looks super nice as well. Um, sold by the brand Pet More, and I think this is actually a really, really cool product. And I just wanted to double check all the stitching and stuff like that, that it was actually good, and it's actually really nice. I never really got into products that I deemed oversaturated or everybody was selling, but I never really thought why these people were selling so much product. Around a month ago, I completely changed everything up to my dropshipping stores, my e-commerce stores, as well as my take a lot selling store to a completely different strategy. I was now selling items that I looked at and never believed would sell before. I have a cabinet of some of the highest selling and top selling products that I have now put up in my study, which I will show some B-roll of, but those products are some of my highest and top selling products in South Africa. Now, prior to that, I never really had a supplier in South Africa, and I was doing the pretty generic route of importing products from overseas. Now importing products from overseas, if you know how that works, if you're importing from a Chinese supplier, and I've done some videos on this YouTube channel about Chinese supplies, it will take around a month to get to your client. You're not gonna have many very happy clients and I can tell you I definitely did not. Around two months ago, and this is where I'm gonna start the clock, but I found the biggest wholesaler in South Africa. Their slogan is literally the trader's friend. What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we have a really awesome video and we're gonna be doing a one week drop shipping challenge. As you can see right now, I'm walking through a warehouse. I'm not even allowed to be recording, but I've just got the products that we're doing in this challenge. And as you can see, we're doing a fitness niche challenge and then we're doing a flamingo niche challenge. This is literally the coolest place I've been to. This wholesaler really changed the game up for me as I finally found a wholesaler that could meet my requirements as somebody selling online, doing dropshipping, doing e-commerce and selling on take a lot. I was blown away by the amount of stock they had on hand and how good their customer service was. What also blew me away was these products were from the same areas that I was importing overseas but they were already here in South Africa. This really changed things up for me as I was now able to take what I had learned from trying to dropship overseas and now dropship solely here in South Africa. This really changed things up and I drove over to the supplier and I've done almost 50 trips to that supplier and back, bringing stock, testing stock, making adverts for stock, making YouTube videos of the stock, and that's where things really got started. I was under the opinion that I had to pick one or two products to have a dropshipping store do really, really well, or pick one or two really good products to have a take a lot store doing really, really well, but I completely changed my approach. I got started with a new take a lot store around three weeks ago, and in under three weeks, this business has gone from zero sales to over 500 sales in one week, equating to over 100,000 Rand in turnover, and we'll do the numbers towards the end of this video. This was really eye-opening for me. It was the first time that I had made major success in dropshipping. My biggest dropshipping store to this date was 100,000 Rand in profit over a time period of over six months. To do over 100,000 Rand in turnover in one week was insane. Now, with that 100,000 Rand in turnover, I was not ready for what was next to come. Now, it was one thing getting the orders, but now fulfilling the orders was the next biggest thing. Keep in mind that the biggest month prior to this was only 58 orders. Now over those 58 orders I had built up experience but getting bombarded with over 550 orders was insane. I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to fulfill these orders but after filling up both this room, another room on the property and a double storage garage, we finally got these orders out. The process of selling on Take Lot can be incredibly difficult and if you're doing drop shipping and e-commerce from South Africa, you cannot take the same approach that people are using overseas. No. 
What do you mean at the bottom, mom? Okay, let's just go. Come. Okie dokie. Now there was literally nothing fancy about the store, and this is what blows me away the most. Over the past year it has been my duty to find the highest selling products, products that have performed the best, products that haven't been discovered yet, but I was forgetting one thing. Dropshipping has been done around the world over thousands and thousands of times by a million different content creators on the internet and creating hundreds and thousands of very successful entrepreneurs by selling products online and making use of digital media marketing. Now I put emphasis on digital media marketing because it's already been done before. We just don't notice it, but if you're doing dropshipping and e-commerce from South Africa, products have already been tested, found, and have brought on major success in other areas of the world. The only thing that I was doing was now taking these incredibly successful products and bringing them over to South Africa. I was using the same strategies and same ad sets that they were using, just trying it on the South African market. The South African market has not been exposed to as much drop shipping for film and content and react to it fairly well. With finding this wholesaler, it opened up so many doors for me. Having the stock on hand enabled me to sell directly to take a lot with a delivery time of three to five days. I had taken my turnaround time from ordering products from overseas, directly importing them from China, from almost 30 days to three days. This was huge as it now provided me the platform to actually drive sales and provide good customer service levels. Having good customer service levels and having that little sticker saying you sell on Takealot really boosted things. Takealot is the biggest shopping platform for the day-to-day -day consumers in South Africa and it's time you leverage that. And they're not the biggest shopping online shopping platform with Superbulous, which is another brand they own, for nothing. Their customer service is obsolete, their selling experience is really brilliant, and they communicate with their clients. Ordering from AliExpress and Alibaba is an absolute nightmare, and I can see why nobody wants to do this. Now, selling on Takelot made the process seamless for me. It was super easy to get my products to the DC, I didn't have to have the products on hand, and I could simply wait for a sale, get to my wholesaler, put a sticker on it, and send it off to the DC. This was huge and fundamental in my success as it opened up so many other doors and changed my perspective on dropshipping and e-commerce. I had my proof of concept and I knew I was now onto something that could be big. At this time, I was on school holidays having more time than ever to spend and work on these businesses. And now after wrapping up school holidays, I have a business that I can passively grow and passively watch while I write my end of year grade 11 exams. Around three months ago, I was solely focused on drop shipping. Having a small drop shipping phone cover business that I ran up on YouTube and showed you guys exactly how I did that. I'm now gonna be implementing more content on Take A Lot selling specifically for South Africa, and here's why. Take A Lot has over 14 million users recorded each month. They have over 3 million happy customers that are shopping online each month. When you're selling on Take A Lot, they do charge a small, but they take some major processes out of the equation. With drop shipping, you're responsible for the creation of your platform and online store. You're also responsible for the shipping and manufacturing for your products. If you don't do the marketing for your drop shipping store, you're not gonna make sales. Now with Take A Lot, what's really incredible is their platform has an active engagement from people wanting to buy stuff online. When people go to Take A Lot, they're already in the mindset of wanting to buy something and you don't need to do any marketing. Take A Lot do have specific marketing features such as running daily deals or running a promotional period for products that you have in stock and I will be releasing some videos on this YouTube channel speaking about that. Now, why I really love Take A Lot is you don't have to do any marketing for your business. You simply use organic traffic. This is super appealing and attractive for people getting started with e-commerce for the first time. Not needing to do any website creation or any store development, having to just copy and paste your products from a wholesaler onto the website takes five seconds. They have a very inclusive onboarding process which helps you familiarize yourself with the platform and their communication is really on par. I think Take Lot is one of the biggest opportunities for selling online and getting started with e-commerce and for 
for somebody looking to get started with e-commerce, you cannot turn down this opportunity. Selling on Takelot has been an awesome journey and I can't wait to grow and expand this business further. At the moment, I only have 500 listed products on my store and doing over 100,000 Rand in turnover with profit margins of sometimes up to 300% depending on the product, these stores are incredibly profitable. Orders are pretty much done for the day. These are today's orders. This is drop shipping stuff specifically. Like this is a product that I'm gonna try out. So we'll see. You guys see I have posted this on my supply. We'll give that a go. Um, then the rest, some will take a lot of orders, but there are some like pretty specific drop shipping products that we are trying out, which are pretty, pretty freaking cool. Um, and then in here, there's like a whole bunch of stock. We're waiting for the last order. And then it's time to go back get to the studio and I have to do some analytical research in terms of bringing in some new products because we want to drive these sales to 100k a month. Now throughout South Africa there are estimated to be over 350 major wholesalers in the country. It's going to be my duty to find resource and do product research on more wholesalers in South Africa and to take my product range from 500 products to over 50,000 products in under five years. After school, this is what I'm going to be pursuing, so I have to put the work in. I don't have a plan B, this will not fail. Another very exciting thing coming to South Africa in the near future is Amazon selling. Now, Take Lot on Amazon will be direct competitors, and having products on both will not be a bad idea. Diversifying my e-commerce streams by having my own e-commerce brands, working with other individuals, selling on Take Lot, and doing drop shipping has been the biggest driving factor from taking a business from zero to over 100,000 Rand in turnover in one week. Making money online has never been easier before. There really isn't a viable excuse. Like I started this story off, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time is now. If you want to get started with your own online business, make sure you go ahead and check out the link, the first link in the description and give it a go. But that's it for now, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.